This video we're going to go over an example question where we've got multiple speeds occurring. So in this question it says Max Planck is walking down the science hallway at a, in a school at a constant speed of 1.5 meters per second for 5 seconds. After seeing his friend Albert Einstein he begins to run towards him with a constant speed of 6.2 meters per second for 15.5 seconds. Determine Max Planck's average speed. So we know that speed is the change in distance over the change in time. Now, there are two instances here. We've got the um, first instance where we've got the speed is 1.5 meters per second and the time is 5.0 seconds. So rearranging our formula, I could find the distance traveled, the change in distance equals the speed times the change in time. And so for this first interval, we have Max Planck traveling at 1.5 meters per second for five seconds. I can use that to calculate the total distance that he traveled in that interval. So in that period of time, when he's traveling a little slower for less time, his distance covered is going to be the speed times the change in time. And so we have 1.5 meters per second and that happens for 5.0 seconds. Now, my units are gonna nicely cancel out here where I've got my seconds times meters per second leaves me with meters. So my change in distance is going to be 7.5 meters. So that's how far this character, Max Planck, travels in the first interval. And so he's traveling kind of slow. You can imagine he's kind of going slow and then all of a sudden he speeds up. So we're going to have two chunks of distance and the whole amount of time will be what we're going to use to calculate the total average speed. So the second interval, we have the speed changes to 6.2 meters per second and the time last for 15.5 seconds. And so now the change in distance for Planck at this time is still going to be speed times change in time, but now he's going 6.2 meters per second for a total of 15.5 seconds. And so the change in distance is going to be 6.2 times 15.5 and we get 96.1 meters traveled, right? So meters per second times second leaves us with meters. And so this is the total distance, the change in total distance is gonna be 7.5 meters and 96.1 meters. So the total distance traveled is 103.6 meters and the total time it takes to do that is this five seconds and then the 15.5 seconds. So 5.0 seconds plus 15.5 seconds is gonna give us 20.5 seconds. So that's the total distance and the total change in time. So my speed is going to be the change in distance over the change in time. And the guy, Max Planck, goes 103 0.6 meters divided by 20.5 seconds and that goes 5.0536 meters per second. Now my original values were to two sig digs, this one's to three sig digs, so the least number of sig digs is two sig digs it's also going to one decimal place. So conveniently, this is going to give me the value 5.1 meters per second is the average speed. So an average speed question, if you can find the total distance and the total time, then you can get the average speed for that interval. Um, so hopefully this helps you spot it. When we, if we were to see this on a graph for distance and time, the, if he started at zero, he'd be going a little bit slowly, so if this was distance and time, and then it speeds up 
because he's going at a faster rate for a longer period of time. This di total distance is going to, um, the, the total change in distance divided by the total time though is how we're going to get this average vol speed. Because the speed in this is related to the slope and then the slope. But if you know the total distance and the total time, you'd be calculating the average speed here. So we're going to go into graphing about, or we're going to learn about graphing and speed and time. And ho hopefully when you go back through that, that little discussion will make some sense to you.